Hello everybody, Skypig here, and today I'll be playing a bit of Lumber Tycoon 2 with all my friends. And when you start off, you spawn here, and you've got $20, and you go into this shop, and you buy this crappy little axe. It's horrible, I've got it here. It's really bad. And I've played this game a bit, I've got up to $100,000, and I've got a pretty good base, but when you start off you don't have very much stuff, you don't have any land you don't have any money and you have to cut down these little trees and stack them into the wood drop off area so I've sort of done all that boring stuff already so I've got a little base up there, I've got a truck I've got a little thing but now I think I need a better axe because Otherwise it's just going to take really long to do anything. So I'm going to go buy a better axe. I don't know what one I'm going to buy yet. I'm just going to buy a good one. I've got $567, which is quite a lot. So let's see. Well, how much is this one? 190 I can get a bit better than that. What about this one? 90 Oh, it's getting worse. This one, the second to be a sex in the normal shop. 550, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna buy that one. Okay, let's get this. Hello. Yes, please, I would like to buy it. Thank you. Okay, this will be much better for cutting down all the trees. It's gonna be much easier than this little one. Look how small it is compared to this. It's huge. This one's huge. Okay, so I guess, what tree should we cut down? This one, or oh, the cherry tree? This is the oak tree, it's just the normal tree. It's the normal tree that spawns when you make the game, uh, when you spawn in the game. So most people just chop down this one. This one is a big one, but this little tree actually gives you more than the big tree, I don't know why. The big tree is mainly for building your base, which is, you build your base with blueprints, but I'll get into that later. And the cherry tree, I think it gives you a bit more money than the oak tree, but I'm just going to stick with the oak tree since it's quite small and easy to cut. Oh, look at that, so fast. Okay, so I'm going to grab this and take it to my base. This is my base right now. So I've got a truck, and when you start, you don't have anything on your land. You buy this in the shop. I stuck an extra conveyor in there. It just makes it a bit easier for the wood to go in. And then it comes out the other side and it gives you way more money. Hi guys. It gives you way more money than the um, than just chucking a tree in there, which is what you have to do when you start off. It gives you much more money. So I like doing that. It just gives you like, it gives you, I'm pretty sure when you stick it in, it gives you $50 more than it would normally would. And even with better um, trees, it would give you much more. So it is really good. So. And I'm going to grab my truck, I'm going to drive around and I'm going to park it so I can load up my truck full of all this awesome wood. Sweet, let's get this truck full. Okay, so when I sell this wood, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'll get a bit more money. I might go get some white wood, which is up the mountain. So. There's a path. I've got my base here, so it's quite a good place for my base. I normally stick it here. It's just close to everything. It's close to the shops over there, close to the bridge, which is over there, close to the ferry, which is... You go down that path, there's like a giant tower. That guy's um, base is right next to the ferry. So when you go up this track, there's, you see those white trees? Those are little white trees. You drive up that track, and up on top of that mountain, there's lava wood. That's the wood that gives you the most money. It's really good. It gives you heaps. So, um, I might get some white wood. That's easier to get because the lava wood you have to risk your life for because you have to go through a volcano and lava doesn't... Lava is bad. It sort of kills you. And, it, and you could lose your axes, which I just bought. And I just bought a really good axe and I don't really want to lose that. So, white wood's much better at, um keeping yourself alive so and um when I finish getting this wood 
I'm gonna sell it and I'll have quite a lot of money. I might get a conveyor system. These are conveyors. Press E, see? Straight conveyor. These are straight ones. You can get curved ones that go up. And you can get um, ones that go around so you can make circles and things with them. Which is quite good. You can put them on display and you can just stick stuff and it'll just keep going around in circles. So sometimes when you're making them they're too small see this is too small and it won't go in and it'll just pop out the other side and it won't um, change into anything so you can just shove that in your truck and it'll, you can just do it anyway it'll still give you a reasonable amount of money it just won't give you as much as it normally would so I'm going to shove this in here that base looks pretty cool So, and then I'll show you the blueprints and I'll show you what I'm sort of going to try and get with my base I think I'm going to try and make a house and then do something with my conveyors which could be quite cool and I might um, do something with walls and things but I don't know what colours I'm going to make them because you can't build your blueprints with this wood you have to stick it through your processor thing first see look I didn't have very much money now I've got like 200 it gives you so much more if you sell this type of wood than just the normal amount because otherwise it just doesn't give you much. Okay, so after I sell this wood, I'll show you the blueprints and how you can make your building with it and stuff. Okay, so that's done. And with the blueprint, you get a little blueprint which is next to your axis down the bottom in your inventory. Which is quite handy because you can just pull it up and do it. It's quite easy to build your base, unlike other games that I've played. So you can get fences, short walls, smooth walls, which is just normal walls. You can get corners. You can get um, fence corners, little squares and tiles, and seats and tables, steps, ladders, wedges. It's pretty much just, you can get anything to build your base with, it's really good. So, I don't know if I want to get a short smooth wall if I, or if I just want to get a smooth wall. I think I'm just going to get a smooth wall, it's quite good and handy just to make. So I'm going to grab this. Yes, it's only 80, they're, they're really cheap. But then it's quite hard to build, you have to cut down lots and lots of trees, it takes ages. See, now I've got my blueprints. Walls, smooth wall, sweet. And I think I'm gonna get some conveyors as well, make it easier. This can go at the front. That can go at the front because it sort of it um goes out, which is easier to put the wood in there. So I'll grab that. Yep, the conveyors are cheap too, so that's all good. Sweet, thank you. Uh, I might buy one more, just a straight one, because you can do anything with the straight ones, they are really handy. Just straight ones, you can do anything with them. Okay. Yes, please. They're all really cheap, I'm pretty much, um, pretty sure. The only really expensive one, it's not too expensive, but it's, uh, what one is it? This one? These ones? Because, look. Four hundred and thirty dollars. That is really crazy. Three twenty. Four eighty. Yeah. So that's quite expensive. That's like how much money I bought my axe for, and yeah, I just I don't want to spend that much on conveyors right now. I it's really cheap when you get start getting into the thousands of dollars. It gets it's not too bad. But, um, Right now, I just don't want to spend that much money. So you see, it's got the bits that come out here, out the sides. It makes it longer and it's easier instead of just the straight ones. That's normal. It's quite good. So if you've got it just that small bit there, it's hard to stick the wood on because it keeps bending up and just lying on the top. So it's really handy just to have that um, that little extra spot and it's really hard to place things. You get the hang of it though, but when you start off, it's really hard to place the conveyors and all the different things if you're trying to stick it in the same spot or stuff like that. It's quite hard. So I'm gonna stick that there. That is perfect. It will go in easy. 
this should fit on there quite easily. Is that the right way around? Yes, it is. Can I stick it on there? Yes, perfect. Okay, that's sweet. I think I'm going to start sticking some of my fences down. So I think I'm going to do something like Okay, this looks good. May maybe just make a little shed for my um, car. That'd be quite cool. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do for my base design quite yet. I think I should sort of line them along. That's not quite right. Line them all straight along there. And then have like a little room. But I need more property, more tiles. Gonna X out that. I'm gonna go see how much the land is for. I think it's a couple of thousand. So I don't really wanna be buying that much right now. Okay. Yeah, so how much is it? Oh, three thousand dollars. Yeah, because if I stick it there, I'll have a place for my saw and stuff. Mm. No, not right now. I think. Oh, I don't know. Okay. So let's go back to our base. So if I. I'm just going to drop this there. This could be my spear axe. That can be my spear axe just in case. Move that there, move that there. Much easier. That's normally the setup I've got. One for my axe. So. Let's see. If I move this up. Fits. Was that in the right spot? I can't, couldn't tell. Okay, so this can go in here. Oh, oh yes, it is the r okay. Sweet, right in the right place. Okay, move this here. Okay, this is gonna be perfect. Okay, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there, and then we'll be like that, and all the wood can pop out here. Okay, sweet, and now I can drive my car around and pick up the wood. Okay, that's awesome. Hello, everybody. My car? Yep. So, I think I'm going to go see if I can get the white wood, cut down a tree, and they'll give me lots of money. Okay, so you drive up this path, and it's all gravel, it doesn't change anything, but it just looks pretty cool, you drive up it, and then you'll get to the top, and there'll be a grassy patch just up here, and it'll be covered in white trees, which are called birch trees, and they give you quite a bit of money, but I don't have a super big truck, you can get bigger trucks, and you can get trailers and stuff, it's all pretty cool. And then just up there is a cave. That's not great, this one. There's a cave, and that's what takes you up to the lava wood. Which is cool. Okay. And timber. So I'll fall as much as I can into my truck, but I don't think I'll be able to get too much. Because I've got a small truck. The next truck up is a hundred. Is it's like five thousand dollars or something to buy, and each time you want to respawn it, it's a hundred dollars. So it's quite expensive. And then the next truck up from that is a thirteen thousand dollar truck, and each time you want to respawn it, it's three hundred dollars. Except my truck only costs four hundred dollars, and it costs eight dollars to respawn it, which is really cheap. Okay, so let's try to load this into my. Can I 
could I move this over a bit? Sweet. Okay, and this fit in there. Perfect. Okay, I don't. Oh, will these bits fit in my sawmill? I think I might need a better sawmill. They cost a thousand six hundred dollars. But if I sell this, even if I'm just selling it just normal, it'll give me lots of money, so that's quite good. Okay, can I fit the rest of them in here? I should be able to. Just. Last bit. Oh, perfect. It all fits. Nice. One tree. One tree gives you about $1,000 or so, which is really good. If you process it, over $1,000 or something. So that's cool. And that might give me enough money to um, have get the new sawmill, which is a silver one. And then the next one up from that's ten thousand dollars. So I don't think I'll be getting that anytime soon. Okay. So I don't know about this big piece, the trunk of the tree, the main bit. I don't think it'll fit in my sawmill. It might though. Let's let's see. I think I might have to chop this in half. It's too long. Because the sawmills have a limit to how long they have to be. Okay. Okay, let's see. Does it fit? Oh, it does, it does, it does, it does. Come on, go in. Perfect, it fits. Nice. Sweet, that's awesome, that should work perfectly. Okay. Put this on. Yes, and all these pieces. Oh, it's gonna. Sweet, that's gonna be really good. They'll fit in there perfectly. Nice. I just really do not wanna. When it comes out, I've got the blueprints on the side. And the wood could come out and go into it and build it, but I don't really, I don't know what colour I want my walls to be right now. So I don't really want it going into it yet. I might get a bunch of white wood and it will go in there fine, because I want it to, but not right now. I don't know what colour I want it yet. Okay, sweet. This is going to give me lots and lots of money. Okay, stick this bit in. How many more have we got? A couple more. That's quite good. It's gonna give me lots and lots and lots of money. I could, when I get better, I think I'll make piles of every wood for building and then I'll sell some of it, but I wanna keep a portion of it too, just in case I wanna build things with it. Cause I could build lots of different things with all this wood I'm getting. Okay, there you go. Yeah, see, some of them are too small. This one's probably too small because it's not too big. Or whatever, so that is too small. So we just have to skip that one. These might be too small too, but I think these ones should be alright. This one seems a bit bigger. It just looks a bit more fat and stuff, so this one should go through. Yeah, I might make a small one though. Oh, it's pretty long. That's alright. Okay. Oh, that is a pretty long one. Okay, last piece. Go. There you go. Yeah. Yep, now I just have to drive my truck around. Even if the wood did fly into my blueprints, I don't think it would make a um, difference because they, you have to have a certain size of piece of wood to actually um, make it work. Oh, that looks a bit dodgy. It might actually make it, so. Okay, that should work better. All loaded in sideways. We've got plenty of room in our truck, I think, because these bits are quite small. So these should fit in here. Perfect. Okay. Stick that in. Stick that in. That should sit there fine. Pop that in. This bit. This bit. Oh, that's 
kind of freaky. That's alright. And this bit can go right. Uh, oh yes, if it fits in that gap, it'll oh perfect. Okay. Now, if I sell this, I should get at least a thousand dollars, and a thousand dollars is quite a lot. If you do this a lot, you get quite a lot of money. Okay, let's see how much it's going to give us. First piece, let's see, how much is it going to give us for a process bit that long? Look at our money, 175. Oh, about 200 dollars. Sweet. That's going to be good. Load all this up. Oh, sweet, good job. Put this in here. Okay. That's a little piece, it probably won't give us as much. Oh, yes, we've almost got a thousand dollars. Yes, a thousand dollars, sweet. <laughs> Perfect, that is nice. Okay, I'll go to my base and I'll probably do a little bit of building my base off camera. I'll probably make a little bit of a house sort of thing and maybe get some more land and stuff, but I won't do too much. I'll make a little house probably around here sort of thing and stick my truck in it so my truck can drive out and, and as much as I want and a little drop off area. Okay, thank you for watching and watch episode 2, that should be coming out soon as well and I'll make a little bit of my base and I'll show you what I've done in the next episode. Okay, see ya!